What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today I got a sub ohm tank, a huge, big, tall sub ohm tank to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Vape Fly. It is actually co designed with German 103. What's the name of this? I think it's called the Creamheld. Creamheld. Hope I'm saying it right. Creamheld. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. But anyway. Sub ohm tank, like I said, let's dive down. We'll check out the ins and outs of this. I'll show you guys the coils, how it's filled, everything about it. Come back, vape on it, and then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Cream Hilled Sub ohm tank. And here's the packaging the Cream Hilled Sub ohm tank by Vapefly and German 103 comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a user manual, a spare glass, bunch of extra O-rings, a love letter from the German 103 group, and then on the back, you got all of the members of that group. And here's the spare coil that's provided inside the kit. It's called the Cream Hilled Single Mesh 50 to 80 watts, 0 0.2 resistance. And the one pre-installed in the tank is called the Cream Hilled Triple Mesh. Resistance is a 0.15, 50 to 80 watts you can see we do have triple mesh going on there's the coil they're also going to make one that's going to be a dual mesh that's going to be a, the material is going to be canthal for that that one's going to be a separate purchase and here is the cream held tank the sub ohm tank 26 millimeter 5 ml of v liquid feels nice heavy and chunky there's the bottom it does say cream held Manufactured by Vapefly, there's your 510. And no, I do not suggest never use a sub ohm tank on a hybrid mechanical mod. On top, we do have our drip tip. This is an A10 drip tip. It's an A10 drip tip that has, let's pull it out, O-rings on a drip tip. But you also have an O-ring on the inside. I have tried my A10s and they do fit in, fit in there, no problem. We do have like a heat sink effect going on. Nice design of the tank. Tank actually looks pretty nice. Airflow on the bottom. Big openings for your airflow. This tank does have a lot of airflow. Right? It does have a stopper going on. We do have top fill on this tank. Let me zoom in just a bit. There we go. You have a little arrow. So what you do here is you're going to lift up and slide. All right? So one of these features, well, that's where you would fill from. Nice big opening to fill. All right? And then after you fill it, you're just going to slide that like that. And it should drop into place. You don't have to worry about this opening up on you. So nice little design there. We've seen that before on other tanks. To get inside here, I'm going to simply just unscrew it from the base. Just like that. There's where your contact happens over here. There's your coil. And to get this out, you're just going to simply just grab it from there and just pull it out. Just like that. This also has to where when you do pull out your coil, the channels where the liquid flows into the cotton, they close up. So as you see, as I push this coil in, you're going to see it start opening up. See that? Opens it up. Now liquid could get inside there to feed. Now, when you do have a fresh, brand new coil, you're going to grab some liquid and put a few drops inside there to make sure to get that cotton nice and saturated. Then you will slip that coil right inside into place. Grab your bottom. Screw this all together. Make sure your line go reverse and then forward then you open your top fill and you fill and like i said before it does hold five mls of e-liquid the tank's going to come in a few different colors there's the black and obviously the gunmetal that you guys have been watching in this video and the one that i've been using the stainless steel stainless steel has the single mesh inside here and the one i showed just now has the triple mesh and there you go the cream hilled sub ohm tank 103 German 103 and vape fly. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on them and I'll give you guys my thoughts And there you have it the up close Crambule sub ohm tank by German 103 and vape fly Mike your thoughts on this one Okay pros and cons on this I really don't have much complaints with it except for the single mesh coil one. Don't care for it. That's just a personal preference. Too much airflow. I think that inner diameter of the coil is just way too much for it. There's a lot of airflow. I really have to like 
cut it down. So you can see my airflow opening that I have. But uh, we'll take a few vapes from this one here. Single mesh. This is the spare coil that comes in the kit. 80 watts. 0.24 resistance. Let's have a vape. Almost getting that. Like almost like an I want a whistle sign. So I got to like tweak the airflow. A little on the loud side. Nice flavor. No problem with the flavor. I could tune it down, even make it a smaller opening. Flavor does get much better. 80 watts. I've had no issues with this coil. I've been using this coil that's in here for about a week now. But I haven't been using it exclusively on and off usage. Performing well. No issues at all. Both coils are rated at 80 watts. So I do have it at 80 watts. We'll do my test. Five quick vapes, chain vaping. See if it keeps up. Let's do it. I'll be fast forwarding through that part. Yeah, you guys know the deal. Let's do it. As you can see, it keeps up, no problem at all. Now I got the triple mesh inside here. I got it on the Legend. Oh, that's that Segeli Zephyr mod for people that are curious. I got it on the Legend, 85 watts. I got it five watts more than what they recommend on this one here. 0.17 resistance, same thing, five quick vapes. Let's do it. Airflow is a little more than halfway open on this one here. This is the triple coil one. I could actually give it more airflow. Let's vape it. Keeps up, no problems at all. Have to say, the triple mesh, the flavor is so much better in my opinion. All in all, nice tank. Like I said, the only con really is the uh, airflow sound I get from the single coil mesh. The triple coil mesh performs awesome. The flavors spectacular on it is it the greatest flavor i've gotten from a sub -home tank no i've had other ones that have been much better flavor rating for this out of a one to ten scale i'll have to give it an eight a solid eight for this tank all in all nice tank i'm actually curious on that dual coil mesh the cantho one that's what i primarily like i like the dual and the triple mesh mostly dual i like dual mesh because when there's dual mesh inside it changes the way the airflow works on there. The sound of the airflow. I seem to get a better flavor off of dual and triple mesh coils. Some other pros with the tank. Obviously the build quality of the tank. They're going to have to get a pro. Beautiful build quality on this. I think it's a nice looking tank. It is a little on the tall side. So those people that don't like tall tanks. This ain't for you. 5 ml capacity. Without a bubble glass. This doesn't have to be a pro. And that's why it's tall. Obviously there's no bubble glass for this. Just made it a taller tank to be able to hold 5 ml of e-liquid. On top, 810 drip tip. It's going to have to be a pro. All in all, nice job with this tank. German 103, the cream hilled sub -on tank. Vape fly. All right. Price on this, you're going to have to do your Google search. I know there's people in the comments, Mike, you could put links in the comments. No, you can't. No links are allowed anywhere. It's a YouTube policy. Just my links, advocacy links, down below, as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you, and remember, 